Today we have a table with four chairs that we got for free from one of your neighbors who is moving out of state. But it, it's an overwhelming process, so we're gonna try to see if we can give it a new life by doing like a half makeover. We're gonna see if we can figure out a few ways to make it look better than it looks now without putting in too much work. So join us as we see if we can give this baby a second chance with half the time. <laughs> Aloha, I'm Danny. My husband and I moved from Hawaii to Arizona a few years ago to be near mom and pops and to expand our ohana by adopting our three teens and our sweet dog, Barkley. Mom and I love to find old, broken down furniture and give it new life. And we invite you to be a part of our ohana where furniture and people are always given a second chance. If it's in good shape if people just wanted the zebra print, if it's in good shape, we might, it might work. I'm just saying. Well, that would it's be, cute. That would be great, but I'm thinking it's probably stained up or something. Okay, it there, probably is. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. There was a reason why we recover our, our dining chairs. Well, there's no stains on these ones when we're recovering them because they're ugly. <laughs> just saying. I think with the tabletop, I'm going to try to do like a wash. I don't know, I'm thinking green, but we'll see. We'll see. You're going to be in Hawaii, so it'll be a big surprise when you get back. <laughs> no, send me pictures. I like knowing what's going on. <laughs> All right, let's see what we're working with here. Now that we've unscrewed the cushion from the chair, we're going to start by removing all these staples to see what's under here. And it took forever. Ooh, check out this blue fabric. This is cute. I mean, I'm sure it's been covered for a reason, so there's probably some stains, but man, if we could make this work and clean them up, I love this pattern. It'll totally go with the whitewash look we're thinking of. Wouldn't that be wonderful? That'd make our job so easy if we could just pull off this top fabric and go with the bottom fabric. Unfortunately, as we're doing this, we realize that only three of the cushions have this fabric on. I don't know what happened to the fourth cushion, but it's a totally different material. Okay, so I wanted a really quick fix for these chairs because as a lot of you know, chairs can take forever. So after a very quick scuff sand, I tried just putting on some white wax and here I'm putting on Jolie's white wax, but it's not going on very well. I think it's just too thick and hard. So I'm gonna have to try something else. Pops and I turned to over this table so I could reach the base easily. Here I just scuff sanded with 220 grit sandpaper, getting it ready for the wax. We have no idea who manufactured this table, but we did find this job serial number and we're not sure if it actually is a description of the date it was made on. So if you know how to interpret this and it gives an age, let us know. We would love to know how old this table is. I started off with a Jolie white wax, but it wasn't working for me. It just wasn't going on very well. So I found this product on Amazon. It's by Deco Arts called Americana Cream Wax, and it worked out really well, went on very easily.
the finish on this tabletop was in very rough shape, as many tables are after many years of use. Um, so I sanded it back down to the raw wood, started off with 120 grit paper and moved on up to 180 and 220 and it came out smooth as butter. I absolutely love cane. And don't you guys love it? But this cane was in pretty rough shape. It looked very old and ragged, you know, with this yellow finish. So I wanted to freshen it up with some green. And this paint I'm using is the Tally Green from Melange One. So I took that and diluted it to about, you know, half water, half paint. And I just wanted to give it kind of a, a washed green look. I took that same watered down paint and just brushed it onto the table and wiped it back with my cloth just to take off any excess. I also used some water in a spray bottle just to keep it wet because once it dries it really, you just can't take off the excess. So be sure and keep it wet as you're doing this. While doing this project, I realized how much I rely on Pops and Danny. Danny's in Hawaii and Pops is on his sickbed. He contracted West Nile virus. And boy, do I miss my support team. I haven't really told you guys, but I do have a mild form of muscular dystrophy. So over the years, especially these last few years, I've really started to understand how important it is to have people around you who are willing to support you and encourage you. So I totally want to thank Pops and Danny right now for being there most of the time and also for you guys. You're, you're our Ohana. Thanks so much. Well, after I put that layer of green down, I didn't really like it. It was just a little bit too green. And so I tried using some of my white wax and just going over it with that to kind of mellow out that green color. Unfortunately, I didn't like the way that turned out either. It was just too splotchy. So I did kind of sand it down and then I pulled out the white paint, watered it down and did a white wash over the whole thing. Now that I'm back from vacation, it is time to finish these chairs up. So we better get all these covers off. It's a tedious process, but someone's got to do it. All right, we are down to that final layer, this goldenrod velvet. And we're not even going to worry about trying to get this off because it is quite secure on there. So we're just going to trim off that cording around the edges and add some fresh batting because these cushions have definitely lost some oomph over the years.
My mom and I want to pause for a moment and let you know how grateful we are for all of you. You've impacted our lives in such a huge way. It's not always easy to flip furniture and create these YouTube videos, but so many of you have supported us and encouraged us and have just loved on us throughout this whole process. And we are so grateful for you. You truly are our furniture flipping Ohana. So now it's time to apply the final fabric. And you guys, I got to tell you, the best place to find fabric is at the thrift store. They have so many different like curtains and drapes that you can just easily use to reupholster chairs. And by doing that, you are saving money and you're saving these, this fabric from the landfill. Win-win. Now that we're happy with the final color of this table, it is time to give it that protective top coat. We went a little crazy and did five coats of this top coat to make sure it would stand up to the test of time with such high traffic. We're using the Modern Masters Dead Flat Finish, so there's no sheen. It's a very matte look, but very durable. All right, this half makeover is done and in the books. But was it really a half makeover, Mom? No, I don't think so. It took a lot longer than I thought, but it was a lot faster than a full-blown makeover. Danny and I have never done a style like this, and we're not even sure what to call it. In your comments, can you tell us, is this shabby chic, French country, or maybe cottage core? Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you all subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment, like this video. It all helps us in so many ways since we're so new and just getting started in the YouTube world. We appreciate you and we hope you have a great week. Aloha. We should do that together, though. Ready? One, two, three. Aloha! Aloha.